the box arrived in good condition, we cut the tape. We open the box and we have a nice pretty piece of paper. We have a top shield. The writing, in case it has to be reboxed, the writing goes to the left hand side. We have a metal frame, which is in really good shape. This is this is a really good solid metal frame. Then we have the unit. I have never touched one of the round ones, but I'm told that these are considerably lighter. Now we have a cable inserted on this, punches it out. Okay, there we go. You press the button and it comes out. You push it in and it's connected. That's good in case the cable's ever damaged. We're going to disconnect this and run this through here and then put it back in to this. All right, it's now connected. Our dish has a slot. It fits inside. Now that's connected. The router is an indoor type and it has two plugs. They're also proprietary. One, is, one of them is power and the other is the cable for the satellite. I'm going to set this up on top of the trailer and then we'll come back and we'll look and see what it's doing using an iPhone. We now plug it in. All right, the the satellite is I'm looking for the Wi-Fi network right now. We just found it. It's an unsecured network. When you first get it, you got to go in and fix that. Going to create one. All right, apparently it's connected. Go to Starlink. It's now looking for visibility. It says Starlink is booting. It does say it's offline, however. We're doing a speed test. Right now it's spooling. It's saying it's offline. All right, we're checking visibility, and Starlink is doing a little compass spin around. Now north is facing right at us, but it needs to be over right there to be pointed towards the north. According to this, it takes 12 hours to do this, to check for obstructions. And it looks like it's going to be doing this for a while. Again, we're just trying to see what's out here. The test is now complete. I just uploaded a video to my YouTube channel, the one you're watching now, and it's soil sampling test three where I compare an over-the-counter soil test kit with a laboratory test kit. It took less than 10 minutes to upload. Normally with using a hotspot, it would take 24 hours to upload, sometimes longer than that, and many times it would fail to upload at all. Now this is in this heavy tree cover that you see up here. In fact, it is shooting through those limbs right there of an oak tree, and it is working fairly well. Now the router is about 150 feet from my house I'm kind of guessing, I'm not sure, because I'm out here testing where I'm going to set this thing up before I set the router into a permanent position. I'll actually be building something to house it. I have a very good signal from the router to the house. I'm not sure. Um, there's two different networks. One is a uh, 
a 5G and the other one is something else. It's like 100 watt and 200 watt. I don't have my phone right beside me at the moment to tell you. So I'm not sure which one I'm on. But it is working well even at this distance and even with the tree cover above. I'm getting ready to move it into an open area which means I have to shut it down and then move it. And I'm of the opinion that unless you are just in a tremendously heavy, thick forest, like maybe a lot of leaves up there in the summer, SpaceX has done a good job in making a good product, and it would work for you even if you're in an area with a lot of trees. My dish is pointed almost straight up. Almost. And that is right through the main part of that oak tree. Dysfunctional vet out. When I moved the Starlink to a new location, I was able to upload a six minute video in less than 48 seconds, which is pretty good. These photos that you see are the rescue dogs. These are the Muse, K-Dog, Sabra, and Shadow. These dogs were starving, they were dying of thirst, and as you can see, Sabra's foot is heavily damaged.